quick reminder that the camp begins to close down when the final bell rings. Please clean up afterwards and donate. Feel free to get a few hours of sleep before you have to head out there. Thanks for taking my corner, with Brono being out of the picture show. For now, trying not to worry about him, but it isn't helping. Not a problem. You are quite the investment. I assume you still have it on you right now. Just remember to pop it at the right moment. Do you and your friends have a suggestion when it'll be the right moment? I figure once she has you on the ropes for the mat and is tearing you apart, you'll know when to use it. Technically, there aren't any rules against skims in a fight anyway. How do I know it'll even work? I'm sure me being dead on the mat can be as profitable as me being the victor. Short-term profits are only part of the equation. Your victory will send a message about our long-term prospects. It, and mutual friends will continue to supply with stuff that Maxwell wouldn't exactly approve of. You'll be a vicious fighting machine for years to come. But, just to keep it clear, neither of us will have any long-term injuries and we are both walking away from this. Anything more is unacceptable regardless of what you can give me. As agreed upon already, business is business but having two of the vault's toughest fighters dead benefits nobody, at least right now. And lastly, if this doesn't work or doesn't work as requested, I won't be as forgiving as Maniac. And I have to tell you again, I am not tapping out. The final bell rings where I'm knocked out. That's the only way this fight will end. You will clear on that miss point now. If she knocks you out in 90 seconds, don't come winning to me because the fight ended. I'll own her to beat your unconscious and defenseless body is not, I repeat not, part of the deal. If you are betting on this, you probably already have, so we'll be closing betting now. Reminder that 10% of all bets will help offset the costs of this little shindig. Well, and I'm about to gain or lose over a thousand caps on him, so I suggest you keep that in mind. He like I wasn't under enough pressure already. Hopefully you bet it on me knocking you out or, at least, going the full third minutes. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to leave you in suspense on that one. Okay, fighters to your corners. Oh wait, they are already there, man. And to answer a question from earlier. No, we aren't going to cut up the remains of the ring and handle them out as souvenirs. And lastly, by popular demanded because I lost a bet. Damn half blind bull rat. Anyway, our own had to have fucking. The cake queen will handle the ringside commentary on this one. Hey bitches, is everybody having a good time? Tonight, for the last fight, it has been a hell of a two days. The original Queen of Mean believed Bonnie Lair in one corner. The jungle woman who is an animal in the streets and an animal in the sheets. And she faces the only thing that scares me in Louisville. And real lessons. We call her the A-Bomb because you never know when she'll explode, but it's certainly the crater when she does. She took on the system that told us what we could wear and who we could love. And from then on, if you decide to get that, you dropped a note to the only a bomb. <laughs> and now, let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> Things are starting up slow, while the her bad asses are going for quick jams and blocks. That had to hurt. We need to support the bloody lip now. Neither of them is backing down. They're moving into some serious body blows. Counting the mental red breaks. Ah. Holy shit, a sudden kick to the arm and I heard something crack on Billy. But Billy is swinging for the fences with her other arm. 
Looks like she has a bomb. Is a bomb tapping? No, she's not signaling it. Billy is moving in. And that's the bar. The two look too exhausted to do anyway. Coming through. Annabelle. Billy. Can you two hear me? Uh, well, error. Well, error. Yes. Well, what? Error. Oh. Okay, both subjects are conscious and somewhat alert. Head injuries are probably light, but easily move them to stretch it. So I can examine them further. And by Down's early light, that was our last fight. We want to invite a quick for herself. Hey, hey, Willie, you awake or what? 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 No, no, Daryl, I was just resting. What ha happened? As she went, the full pretty nader tapped out, and it gave out a bit ahead tonight. So what are you up to now? You don't seem much in the mood to me. Has the spark gone out of the King Queen tonight? Don't want to feel the blues. They're coming on kinda strong. Want to hit up some day triple with me? I promise it's the good stuff. Got it from that. Far out, man. Mason Bruno said we could crash here at least until tomorrow morning. Perks of being the announcers, I guess. Oh, and I guess this can handle the rest of the announcements. Definitely a simple fracture of Bolna. A milk concussion. Some cheering of the costal cart at least. A fracture of the breath. A stem pack for the pain. Just try and rest Billy. But nothing life threatening. And you Annabelle. A pretty nasty broken nose. I might have to drain the swelling over your eye there. A lot of bruising, but I don't think any broken ribs. I am a bit concerned about the bruising on your throat and neck. All in all, I hope you two can stand to be roommates because you're not going anywhere for at least a couple of weeks. Maxwell, how are they doing? They'd be doing better with the doctor not being interrupted. But in short, they'll learn. I can all out you a moment, but we really need the space clear in case of an emergency. I have to make the last announcements anyway. But you two, damn both of you. I hope this settles something. Do I have both your words that this settled whatever? Oh, er, oh, yeah, yeah, yes, for now. Fine, er, whatever. Okay, if you two are still awakened about an hour, I'll be back. Somebody has to take charge anyway out there. You did good, out, out, oh, out there. Rona would be proud, will be, oh, will be proud. Did, didn't, did, didn't do it for him, or you. Just, just one, one thing. Stop blaming you, yourself, for Edward, please. One day, I may, couldn't take it, could you? Don't give me that, oh, that look I knew about the time I'm not done. Figured I had, had a 50, 50 shot of you taking it. Some, some things are more important than winning. That little girl had. Eh, right. To her shot on me. They ain't gonna be ha happy with you. Yeah, no. Shit gonna hit the fan. They still won. To an extent. And anyway, what do I care? I am Billy fucking body layer. <laughs> Coming through. Out of the way. Oh my god, Larry. Who found him? I, I, I was going to take up, and the door was closed, didn't think anybody was in there, and I just found him, slumped up. No pulse, no breathing, starting to go cold but still somewhat warm. He's been dead a good hour or two. When's the last time somebody saw him alive? Oh my god, poor Larry. He, I saw him with Jim Rogers maybe an hour or so before Bruno's last fight. No gunshots, no ones I can make out. Wait, what's this? A bottle, Kim's probably. Nothing left in it. Was it a suicide? An overdose? Anybody see or hear anything? 
Larry liked to hit the cams, but I figured he was sticking to the safe stuff that makes he and Whitley were providing. My God, what happened? Is he? Yes, he's dead. Several hours at Epphurst. Might have been an overdose or a suicide. I'm sorry, I knew he was a friend of yours. I knew he hit the Kims pretty hard. Was taking the fact he didn't make the full free a bit hard, but he seemed fine when he woke up around noon, I think. I heard the scream. What's going on, Larry? He appears to be deceased. We got a suspect yet. The cause of death? You recognize the bottles? Where did he get the chems from? Maxwell, if somebody overdosed from one of you. Not one of mine. All our chems are clearly leveled, including basic ingredients, dosage instructions. And most were relatively low dosages to prevent this sort of thing. Whatever was in that bottle, if it took it all. But it doesn't make any sense. He went heavy, but he wasn't stupid, nor was he suicidal. Could he have been given a fixed dose? Poison. Intentional. Maxwell, do you have the equipment for an atapsy? I can at least run a blood test. Look for the contents of this stuff. I'll need another tent sit up first. I guess we'll be in camp for a bit longer. So, what's the word, boss? You want us to start rounding? I think somebody slipped him a hot dose, but I have no proof. And by the time Maxwell finishes his tests, they could be long gone. We need to figure out who might have already left camp, starting with the most likely suspects. Not everybody attended our little party. I can think of a few, such as Edgar. Nobody has seen Hyde nor hair of him in probably a month. I figured on Edgar showing up a long shot, but this isn't his MO. He barely touches Kim's much less knows how to fix a dose. Our suspect or suspects is probably still in camp and he has no reason to poison anybody here anyway. I could quietly inquire to our friends. Make sure nobody is going nowhere. Start searching. No, that would definitely start a panic and probably right into whoever's hands. And this is still treated as an accidental overdose or a suicide until Maxwell can give me solid proof otherwise. Just ask a few questions, take some notes, keep a mental list of who is acting, squirrely, figure out if anybody lost some serious caps on his fight. Figure out a possible mother. Maniac, Dolly Jim, or one of their elf. But Larry was one of them. Can't see why they play that move when they're hurting already for all his. In the end, it might just be an accidental overdose. I knew having Kim's here was a mistake. But officially, I can't do anything about it. Supposed to take a hands-off approach to Kim's dealing and using. Back in the vault, the overseer would at least make sure somebody was held accountable. Unofficially, we could still do the same. They're standing close, Joe lands the left hook to the body.